Michael Isaac, laureate of the Da Vinci Institute, a PhD granting university in South Africa. Three, four, A, B, C, D. Okay. Dream to win a gold medal in the International Math Olympiad? The God of Math is here to help. Point E is the foot of the perpendicular from B to diagonal AC. So let's draw AC. Let's draw the perpendicular from B to AC. Which disclaimer is not the center. And here's E. Okay. So what is the area of ADE? Which will be this triangle over here. Okay. So, first of all, let's get started. With what? Well, let's say that, uh, so since this is th 4 and this is 3, that means that this length is going to be equal to 5. So, now that means that, so let's just keep in our minds, that this is 5, just deconstruct it. Let's keep in our minds that that is 5. And now, so AC has the length 5. Now how do we do this? Well, think about it. Since we have AC over here, let's say we have this triangle, ABC. Now, think about it. BE is actually the altitude of this triangle. Think about it. These t uh, triangles are similar. So that means that ABE and BCE are both similar to ABC. So that means that let's say that 5, so let's say that we have this proportion. So this is going to be the hypotenuse, which is 3, and this is 4. So for ABE, let's say that we have 3, which is AB, over 5, which is AC. So 3 is to 5 over here, as we'll say, we'll call this little length over here, X. And it's going to be like X to, this is the small side, so 3. So this gives us X is equal to 9 fifths. So this is 9 over 5 AE. And for the same reason, uh, not only th uh, that, but also we deduce that EC must be 16 over 5, because that's 25 over 5 minus 9 over 5. And indeed, if you check the math, that does actually work out. All right. And what about this side? Well, this side can be found easily using the Pythagorean theorem. So we get 81 over 25, which is 9 over 5 squared, plus x squared is equal to, what is the whole thing in total squared? Well, uh, according to the Pythagorean theorem, it's 9, but that's 225 over 25. So that gives us x squared equals 144 over 25, and thus this x is 12 fifths. 12 over 5. Now, so now we already know one of the parts over here, 9 over 5. Now, we just need to know the, the other part, and that has to be 12 over 25. Uh, 12 over 5, sorry. These two are equidistant from this point in the center. All right. So now we have 9 over 5 times 12 over 5 times 1 over 2, because half the h, gives us 108 over 50, which is also 54 over 25. So that's it. Thank you very much.